Hey guys, it's June. Well, I um, just wanted to say, you know, I'm really sorry to those people in Boston who got hurt in the Boston Marathon. I think it's disgusting how people can just want to go out and hurt innocent civilians. I think it's terrible. So many people have gotten hurt and lost limbs and an eight-year-old boy died. Like, is, is that, I don't know. I don't even have any words for it. His sister lost her foot. The mother's in critical condition. Um, they were at the finish line waiting for their dad to finish, you know, the race. It's just, it's horrible. I'm just, I'm disgusted. I mean, you, you have to feel like you, why is it that we have to feel that we cannot even go outside our house? We can't go to the mall. We can't go to any of these events because you never know what's going to happen. But then again, you don't want to live your life like that because you don't want to feel like you're in a bubble, like you can't do anything. You know, when I send my kids off to school, am I going to see them at 3 o'clock? Am I going to see them? Who knows? Who knows that when I go to the store, there's not going to be bombing? Who knows that in the school, somebody's not going to bomb? Who knows that there's not going to be a crazy lunatic going in there and, and just, you know, shooting up everybody? It's just, it's a horrible way to live. And, I mean, we can move from it. We can move from the, the major cities and go into, you know, rural towns and, and all that. But, really doesn't make a difference because it's all over. It don't matter. And I'm just, I don't know, it just gets me really, really sick. I just can't believe this happened yesterday. Um, you know, the 9-11 attack, the first one, my, my aunt was actually working in that building. That was in, what, 93? 93. Um, then 2001, my cousin Joanne was the sole survivor of her whole entire office. I mean, I think she was on, she was on like the 87th floor. I'm not too sure if it's the 84th, 87th, you know. It's just horrible that we have to live like this. I don't know. I, I just don't even want my kids going to concerts anymore. Um, my kids always wanted to experience the whole Times Square New Year's Eve thing. That will, I don't think that'll ever happen. I don't think I'm, the only way that they'll be able to do it is if they go behind my back because I will never allow that. Parades in New York, you got the Puerto Rican Day Parade, um, the, the gay parade. You just have so many things happening here that we're a target for. So I'm just aggravated. This is like a really, you know, this is like a downer video. I'm just, I'd express my feelings because I'm really disgusted. I really am. Um, that old man that fell in the race, I don't know if he got hit by one of the ball, ball bearings, or uh, he was just scared, but I mean, his legs just collapsed and he went down, and I just, I cried. I was just so upset, because I'm like, these people train all year to do this, and in Boston, this is like the, the biggest day of the year. Everybody's so happy, and then that's it, just in a blink of, of an eye, you know, your whole life can change, and I don't know. My my whole thing, I guess, in this video is just live, live your life, and I, I can't even say live your life to the fullest. Do everything you want because I know I can. There are so many things that I can't do now. I'm just I'm too scared to go out and do it. I'm afraid. I don't know. It's horrible, but I don't know. Be safe, everybody, and um, again, my prayers go out to all the victims, their families, and just everyone affected by this. I mean, we're all affected by it, so my prayers go out to everybody. Okay, guys.